Welcome to the Hole Hunter series on the Clover Creek map in FS19. Today we will be buying Old Power Stroke. We'll be getting a new mailbox along with a generator and we'll be buying a few horses along with chickens. This will be a very exciting day here as we do different things here around our property. We recently moved here into this brand new property and I do recommend you check out those few videos. Let's come over here, open the garage door and get the Duramax warmed up. I was looking online and found an old 7.3 1996F350. 7.3s are very nice trucks and I thought why don't we go take a look at it and possibly buy it. We'll get the Duramax warmed up here. I do like the body style of the old Fords and if you guys did request me get it here for the series. We'll get backed out of the garage. It is a bit tight especially with uh, the right side there but that is okay I really do like this house as well probably we'll be uh, having more houses coming in to this uh, map as well and we'll have to drive here on our freshly sodded grass to come over here to the trailer one thing we will have to look into doing is to build some gravel areas around the uh, shed back here because the grass is going right underneath these uh, trailers and I don't really like that. I like the trailer wheels to sit on something other than dirt. So you guys can see we got it loaded up and that looks to be good. I hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far and I hope yours is too. Now this is uh, being sold at one of the local garages, so we'll go into the town and we'll take a look. I really do like the homeowner series, especially here on this brand new property. We do have some pretty big things coming, big surprises here for the series, and I cannot wait for them. This Duramax does look very nice, I really do like it a lot, especially with the full interior. Now this is a crew cab long bed, it possibly might not fit here on our trailer if we do end up buying it, but we'll just have to see what happens, and it should be somewhere at this gas station, and I can see it there in the back, wow that looks awesome. We'll uh, just get parked up here, put the ramps down, we might not buy it depending on it, but like I touched upon, 7.3s are a bit hard to come by, and when you do find one in really good condition, you just can't say no to it. This thing looks awesome here in probably race red, it looks like we got some aftermarket wheels there on it, that's okay. Really no rust, no paint, uh, scratches, really nothing on it, and it does come here with a toolbox in the back and a drop hitch, that is pretty awesome. Let's see if it starts. Yes, we are definitely going to be buying this truck. Let's get it loaded up and head back to our house. I thought buying an old truck like this would be pretty cool if we do have to go uh, maybe tow a trailer or even just drive around town. We could take this now and that would be awesome and best to back it on so that it hangs over the trailer. Having old trucks is still nice and I'm putting in quite a lot of effort to have old and new trucks here in my videos. It's nice to feature brand new 2018-2019 trucks but at the same time it's nice to have these older ones here in the game and it's uh, that uh, the variety that I really do enjoy and you guys seem to be liking it as well. This is a tight fit I will have to say. It's a wide truck, long truck but making it uh, fit on this trailer isn't actually as tricky as what I was expecting it to be. Wow, quite a lot of weight over the tongue of the trailer. Once we get this back to our house, we'll probably keep this around kind of the back area. No need to have it out front. This will be kind of one of those trucks we'll drive on occasional basis if we want to tow a trailer or uh, something like that. Or maybe put firewood in the back. I don't really want to put wood, anything like that, in the back of our new uh, Ram 1500 or this uh, Silverado. After taking a closer look at our house, I realized we do need a mailbox and I decided with the sales of the generators, we'll pick one up. That way if we lose power, the generators will uh, keep our house lit and that's going to be pretty awesome, I will have to say. That's uh, definitely a luxury as well, but it kind of fits the theme of this new move to this uh, series with this new 
uh, map as well. So I thought that this would be awesome. Now what I actually want to do is I want to back this in because we'll be going to the uh, local supplier with this trailer and truck. And it's going to be a tight fit on that side. Actually, doing a pretty good job backing in. I did widen these gates quite a bit and definitely is paying off, making it a bit easier and I think it looks a little bit nicer as well. The new 7.3 here is back at our house, that's pretty awesome, and for 2020, the uh, Super Duties will have a 7.3 liter V8, so that's pretty cool I will have to say. They brought a 7.3 liter V8 into the new uh, Super Duties, the F250, F350, so what we'll do is we'll park this around back. Now it does have an interior, but it's not a Ford interior, and this was converted from the previous games. Even though the textures aren't the best, I really, really wanted to add this. And it's pretty funny how we have all of these trailers just hiding back here, but that's okay. Let's go pick up the generator and the mailbox. If you do have any cool ideas here for the series, please let me know down below here in the comments. I really do enjoy responding to you guys in the comments as well. You guys give me great feedback, and you guys are awesome with all of the positive uh, support for the channel, encouraging more uh, content on a daily basis. This Duramax is one great truck. I really do like it a lot, and I think that this is probably one of my favorite uh, Duramaxes here in FS19 so far. If you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at Square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures and updates over there, and you guys do get quite a lot of sneak peeks. Let's see how we can get these loaded on. I think for now we'll put the trailer ramps down. Hopefully we don't have to uh, kind of use them. We'll keep the Duramax running. We'll only be here for a few minutes. Here is a generator as well, and uh, that looks nice. And the mailbox. Actually, we could pick up the mailbox, I believe. Yes, we can. That That's pretty helpful, I will have to say. It's the other one that's just too heavy. So we'll put this one right there, and we'll strap it down. Perfect. Two straps will be good there, and we'll use a forklift for this. Now we do have to run the underground wires here for the generator because we will actually be putting this on a pretty far section of the property. We really just don't want to see this. We want the luxury of it and we don't even want to hear it as well. So I do have a great location for it. We'll get this backed off and you guys can see it was a pretty simple one and I can't wait to get the chickens and the horses. Now we do have to get food for them. I'm currently working with the local farmer for uh, him to give us some grain and that should be good. Awesome. We'll be using our Bobcat S590 to unload the generator. Should be enough uh, weight on the truck. And we will be behind someone. And uh, we don't want to really be right up on their bumper, even though they are going a little slow. We'll be respectful of them. Always being patient is a good thing when driving. Our property from a distance does look very nice. I really do like this property uh, compared to our first version on the Ravenport map. We have a full flat lane, really no hills, and these textures on this map are also very, very nice. What I want to do is, I want to put the mailbox out front. No need to drive all the way uh, back into our property and then have to carry it or transport it back. So let's get this one unloaded. I really do like this mailbox and it kind of fits in with our property theme as well. And I, w I want it kind of right here. We'll try to get it as close to the fence and bring it back just a little. Bring it back. And it's a little hard to move these, but let's see. That looks pretty good there, and let's go all the way to back now. We will not be using this trailer anymore today, and that should be good. Now, I'm actually thinking, since uh, we will be going and buying horses, why don't we use that old Power Stroke, the 7.3? I mean, we bought it, put it to work, and that's what I really wanted it for. Now, you guys can see we are putting this generator way back here. I think that this will be the perfect location here for us. Let's get the skid steer out, and let's get going on getting this unloaded. 
I have really been enjoying all the FS19 videos here on the channel. We do have lots more coming here with uh, all the series, including new series starting as well. I can't wait for this summer though, which will be one amazing summer. So many cool things coming to the channel, and I cannot wait for them. It's great that we do have a skid steer, especially a bobcat of this size. These are pretty expensive, but it's nice to have around, especially when you do uh, things, including the feeding of the horses will be a lot easier with this. The 7.3 looks amazing. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Uh, do you like the uh, old Fords? I really do like it, and especially that body style and the uh, one uh, after it do look nice. Let's see if we could get the generator. It's always a bit tricky getting the pout fork in the correct position for it to completely work. And we got it. This should be able to power our entire uh, house, and that is great. When we were placing the order, they asked how much uh, power do we use, and they did all the calculations and decided this would be the best one. You guys can see really putting it on the corner of our lot. These are pretty loud, and we really just don't want to see them as well. It is a bit more underground wires, but I think it's well worth it being out of way, out of sight, and you don't even hear it. Just backing up here, and that's okay. I mean, the least amount of movement we could do right now on our sod is preferred. Even though we keep driving the uh, Duramax on the grass, this will probably do a bit more damage if we try to do some sharp turns. So I decided that would be good there. We'll get that close. And we'll get this warmed up. We'll let this get warmed up here as uh, we get the Darmax parked up. If you do have any cool ideas here for the homeowner series, both in FS19 and 17, please let me know. We do uh, this series in both versions of the game with different mods, different maps, and whole different style as well. This is a bit more luxury, and the one in 17 is, but uh, different houses, different things. Let's get in the Duramax. Looks like by accident we got in the other one. With the Duramax parked up. Now, one of the big uh, reasons why I decided to have the trucks drive in now is because the fumes from the exhaust will be going outside instead of right into the uh, house in the garage since it's now attached. But I can't wait to really see how this does, especially with horses, which are very heavy. This is a small horse trailer, but two horses is quite a lot as well. And while we are there, we'll probably get around to uh, buying the chickens, probably 30 to 40 of them as well. And since we are allowed to pass, why don't we just pass? It will be a little bit easier. We are just now passing the town, and this dealer is a little bit further off. There seems to be a few on this map as well, which I have not really noticed before. But it's kind of nice having a few different ones. Competition means lower prices, and that will be beneficial here to us. 45 mile per hour speeds. That's a bit fast here, especially towing. We probably won't be doing that. But so far, the 7.3 really is doing a great job towing this trailer. It's a pretty heavy trailer as well, but I really do like this quite a lot. We'll be making this a left-hand turn coming up. I hope all of you guys are excited for all of the very cool videos coming here on the channel. We do have lots planned, new mod releases coming this summer, as well as building a brand new map. I cannot wait for that. We will have new houses similar to the one uh, like this one on our homeowner series, but we'll have other ones. Yeah, this one carries all of them. A few of the other ones only do a select few, but that's okay. And that seems to be good. So where do we get loaded up? Seems to be right here. And that seems to be straw. Might be around the other side. Uh, 
Alright, we'll get this parked up here and let's buy the chickens. We will select the chicken coop and we'll buy these. That looks to be good there, so we'll confirm those. Next up, we'll go here to the, uh, let's take a quick look, the small American stable, and we'll buy two horses. We'll buy, let's take a quick look, we'll buy this one, and we'll buy this one. So $10,000 there seems to be good. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's homeowner series here on the Clover Creek map in FS19. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And subscribe for more.